In this video, we're going to analyze Ken Kaneki's quote from Tokyo Ghoul. First, let's watch the scene and then we'll go over the grammar. Today's quote is Sen hiku nana wa Sen hiku nana wa Sen is the number a thousand. In kanji, it's written as this. It can also be read as is sen to emphasize that it's one thousand. For example, when counting thousand yen notes, you would say is sen, ni sen, san zen. But the number itself is normally read as sen. Hiku is a verb meaning to pull or to subtract. In mathematical contexts, it corresponds to the English preposition minus. Nana is the number 7. In kanji, it's written as this. In words like shichiji, meaning 7 o'clock, and shichigatsu, meaning July, it's commonly read as shichi, but in most other contexts, it's usually read as nana. Sen hiku nana forms a noun phrase that represents the mathematical operation 1000 minus 7. And wa is a topic particle marking this noun phrase as the topic of the sentence. But in mathematical context, it can function similarly to an equal sign. This is an incomplete sentence implicitly asking for the result of the calculation. So it actually means a thousand minus seven is, but it's understood as what is a thousand minus seven without needing to explicitly state the interrogative words like nani meaning what or ikutsu meaning how many. So today's quote, sen hiku nana wa means what is a thousand minus seven. Basically, in this scene, Kaneki is using the psychological technique on his captor, Jason, by asking him to count down from a thousand by sevens. This requires mental focus and can help prevent losing consciousness during extreme stress. Ironically, Jason originally used this same method to torture Kaneki. So now that their roles have reversed, Kaneki is applying this technique to Jason. Here's today's review. Sen hiku nana wa this structure allows you to express mathematical operations by combining numbers with the appropriate verbs using wa which functions similarly to an equal sign and ending with a question mark to form a question. It may seem grammatically unusual as it embeds a verb within a noun phrase without particles or modifications. However, this construction is standard in mathematical context in Japanese directly reading out the calculation. In mathematics, these special sentence structures are accepted even if they don't follow normal grammar rules. Let's look at some example sentences using this structure. 100 かける。3は In these sentences, we use mathematical verbs tasu meaning to add, kakeru meaning to multiply, and Waru meaning to divide, in the same way as hiku meaning to subtract. If you want to finish the sentence with the answer, simply remove the question mark and add the answer. Now let's practice reading the mathematical operations. Nanaju 
、引く61は9。70-61 は9。18たす24は4218たす24は42かける9は1082かける9は108三十割る六は五。三十割る六は五。The what particle followed by a question mark indicates that what precedes it is the topic of inquiry, while the rest of the sentence is omitted. This kind of omission occurs frequently in Japanese, reflecting Japanese high context culture, which often relies on nonverbal. An implicit communication, so you often have to guess what's being asked based on the context. Make sentences with the what particle and the question mark. Please note that pronouns in Japanese are often omitted as well. What is your name? Namae wa? Namae wa? What is your hobby? Shumiwa? What is today's weather? Kyo no tenki wa? Kyo no tenki wa? For more example sentences, please check out our website. You can find the link in the description below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching!